So I'm sure many have been paying attention to what uh, many of the YouTube doctors uh, have been saying that COVID-19, it's fake. You know, 99% of the people who have it end up getting cured. So many patients just end up having mild, mild symptoms, nothing to worry about. You don't even need a mask. You can go back and go back to everyday life. They're shutting the... You know, they're shutting down all the cities and it's a conspiracy and they're shutting down the entire planet. And it's just one big global conspiracy to to crash the economy or people are just overreacting. All right. Overreacting. Only one percent of the population are going to die. Right. So in New in America, there are three hundred and twenty eight million. Right. It's three hundred and twenty eight million people that live in America. And if one percent of the country dies, right? If 99% of the country uh, gets COVID and lives through it, right? That's 3.28 million deaths, right? It also disproportionately affects people of minorities, right? So if you're primarily black and Hispanic, right? So primary black and Hispanic, most of the patients that I take care of, uh, obviously because of the demographic, are black and Hispanic. And those are most of the patients that are unfortunately being affected because of things like obesity, high, uh, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, right? Diabetes, uh, obesity being one of the main reasons because many of these individuals get laid up and they're lying in bed and it's hard for the lungs to expand. And of course, whether you choose to believe what the CDC says or your local hospital, or if you think John Hopkins um, has the best sort of information, they all say the same thing, that the vast majority of the people who are dying are of color. And yet I still see people of color talking about, you know, you don't need to wear a mask, you know, it's all fake, this is all, this is all BS, etc. And I would say for, especially within... The black community, I mean, the black community only makes up about 40 some odd million uh, of America and disproportionately are affected. So a greater portion of that 3.28 million would be made up of African Americans. So could you afford for that 3.2 be up to literally be a million black people that would get COVID and die? The other thing that most people don't take into consideration is the volume is the primary concern is they don't want most people who have maybe mild symptoms that would come into the hospital, might be might need to be looked after, uh, might need supplemental oxygen, might need to have some sort of antibiotics for secondary infections. Some of those patients might not be able to get treated because the hospitals are overrun with sicker patients. So a lot of those mild cases of people who could recover now increase that 1% from 32 3.3, to a higher number. And again, those will disproportionately be people of color. And it would be the same thing if the hospitals were to get swamped with patients who are just primarily COVID, which is what happened last, which is what happened last time, then people who would come in for like heart failure or people who required uh, cancer treatment or individuals who had other different uh, diseases would also be impacted. It's not like we have COVID and all these patients come in with COVID and then everything else, all the other diseases just you know, are on hold and we're like, all right, COVID's coming, uh, hospitals are overrun, so your heart failure is going to be put on hold, right? I mean, I see this with a lot of famous, famous, more like more well-known YouTubers like ABL or Brandon Tatum or even uh, Young Ripper talking. These are primarily people of, primarily people of color ta- downplaying the effects of the virus. Even if the vast majority of the cases are mild, the only way that we're going to the only way that we're going to get there is via herd immunity. And if that's the route that people want to go because everybody wants to go back to their lives, everybody wants to go back to work, you're going to end up sacrificing in the neighborhood of 4 million people. Most of those being Hispanic and black. And yet the country is actually trying to do right by the vast majority of people of minorities. And it's the minorities who are complaining the most about not wanting to wear a mask. And I would imagine if you are, you know, for your people, as they say, 
then you would want more people to wear a mask so that you're less likely to get affected. I mean, people say, well, you know, it only affects people who have comorbidities, right? Like diabetes. Do you know how prevalent diabetes is in America or obesity for that matter, right? I mean, if you look at the numbers for obesity in America, right? 40.3% of people age 20 to 39 are obese. 46.4% of people who are age 40 to 59 are are obese. 42% of people among ages 60 and over are obese. And And of course, the virus primarily attacks men. And those numbers are related to men. And women share lower statistics of, of obesity, but the vast majority of these individuals are people of color. I mean, that's just, those are just the numbers. So it makes, it makes very little sense that there is this argument or whether I should wear a mask or not wear a mask. Do I think the government should mandate masks? No, I think people should be smart enough to know, especially people of color, should be smart enough to know that they need to wear a mask uh, when they're coming in contact with large numbers of people. If you can't socially distance, then of course you should be wearing a mask so that the virus doesn't continue to spread. And yet here in New York, I've seen you know, videos of block parties. The vast majority of these people that will end up getting COVID-19, especially if they choose to continue to not want to use precautions, will just get worse and worse and worse. It'll just keep on spreading from one individual to the next until it actually reaches someone who fits the criteria who will end up being hospitalized and being at risk of losing their life over something that can be easily abated by wearing a simple mask and people talk about well why is it that you know they're not shutting down because of sexual promiscuity right and it's because it does it's because of the way that the disease spreads and because there are a lot more medications that are useful in fighting sexually transmitted diseases than there are for things like COVID-19, where there's a lot less medications that are useful. I mean, they use remdesivir, but there isn't really a lot of clinical evidence to say that it actually does work when you actually look at the data. I just, I just don't, I just really don't get it, especially for people who are, who are minorities. Again, who this primarily affects, you have your own people telling you that it's all BS, that you don't need to wear a mask. Yet you are the primarily one who is at risk of losing your life. Either you or your parents or your grandparents are at risk of losing their lives earlier than necessary. And I just don't get why some people are doing this. Yes, I understand that. Should masks be required uh, by the law? No, because you shouldn't enforce, you shouldn't have to enforce something as simple that many other countries are doing without any issue. There's plenty of other countries that saw spikes and immediately everybody wore a mask. They quarantined people and they got the virus under control. And yet in America, we're approaching 3 million. We'll probably be 3 million cases uh, by the end of the month. Approaching over 130,000 dead and then people are like, oh, the death numbers numbers are all fake. It's not real. And again, even if it's 1%, there's not going to be a vaccine. There are no vaccines for the common cold or for the SARS, there's no vaccines for coronaviruses. They've been trying to find a they've been trying to find a vaccine for the common cold for like 60 years. They never found one for SARS. They are more than likely not going to find one for COVID-19. So realistically, the only way that we're going to get there is via some sort of a herd immunity. You don't want to get there the quick way, because all you end up doing is killing a lot of people.